beautiful Virgo, welcome back, welcome home. It's so good to be able to sit with you, to connect and to shuffle cards with you. I hope that this reading finds you in good spirits and good energy. As I'm saying that, I'm pulling cards over for you guys, which I will share in just a moment. Um, this video is definitely filmed in October. However, the messages are timeless. So if the divine has destined it for you to listen to this message from whatever time in the future or the past or the present, it is what it is. Just allow yourself to go with it. All right, so a few cards did jump out, but I'm going to allow spirit to speak up for my Virgo sun, moon, and rising. And for those of you guys that are cross watchers, if there's a message there for you as well, this is here for you to receive it. So Virgo, first and foremost, one thing um, that's coming to through to me is this idea of being caught off guard, this message of being caught off guard. And I feel you kind of being toppled over, toppled over to your side. This has to do with, um, I just heard faith planning, faith planning, planning for the future based upon your faith. Something just completely knocked you over on your side, like a wave away from the ocean, just completely caught you off guard. Um, faith planning. I've never heard of that before, but from what I can sense, it's making plans for the future based upon your faith and not what you are aware of. And it takes literally faith in order to do this. So the cards that I'm pulling, that I pulled for you so far, Virgo, first ones are Eight of Cups and Eight of Six of Swords, I'm sorry. But also the Eight of Swords is here. Then we had the Seven of Pentacles next, and then we have the Ten of Pentacles. So Virgo, allow me to sit with this for a minute. The first cards that did jump out were the Six of Swords and the Eight of Cups. This is about totally accepting, whether we want to or not, totally accepting the final destination of a situation of something in your life. And the faith, the courage, the strength it takes to emotionally, mentally, physically, and spiritually lift yourself up and pull yourself forward away from what you are called to depart away from. So you are, I'm hearing the word depart. You are being called to get in your boat and to set sail, to, 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 See, set your sights on a new sea or out in the sea. And this is reminding me of what Spirit said in the very beginning, which is faith planning. There have been moments in your life where you have been called to make plans based upon faith alone. This is this feeling, Virgo, that you had that spirit was guiding you, protecting you, uplifting you, inspiring you, and you were able to manifest. You were able to, I just heard count your coins. Um, so you were able to, you were able to count the coins of your blessings. You were able to count all of your blessings in one change purse, in one little pocketbook. Um, interesting that that's coming through Virgo because I just see you having this purse or having a book bag or having something that you kind of carry all of your essentials, all of your needs. It's like a safety blanket. Something about that is just like, I don't know why that's coming through, but you kind of revisiting that and kind of organizing it and getting it right just because this is what you're carrying every day. You might have some old things in there that need to be cleansed out, um, crystals or whatever. Just these are things that you're carrying every day, but also cleanse it. So you might actually need to do an energy cleanse of a bag or something that you carry with you um, on the daily. It could be a purse that you carry crystals in or whatever. I don't know why that's coming through. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, 
if you are about to enter on this new voyage and go out into the seas again, you're not going to carry with you a house. You're not going to carry with you a car. You're not going to carry with you all of these things. I mean, you could, but for the most part, it's going to be like a suitcase or, you know, your personal belongings. And if that's the case, cleanse it. So spirit is telling me to tell you to kind of cleanse out all that you have been carrying, cleanse out a physical, but also just all of the physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, cleanse it out. And I see you in the corpse pose. Corpse pose is in yoga. It's interesting because eight of cups, he's bent forward. Um, but if I actually see it the opposite for you. I see it in corpse pose and I see you allowing your body, mind, body, soul, spirit, bodies, like spiritual bodies, mental bodies, emotional bodies, physical body, to be cleansed. I do this a lot in my day-to-day -day life by allowing myself to sit out in the sun, absorb the sun rays, and just kind of bake goodness into me and allow, you know, past energies and things that is that I'm letting go of, just put that into the earth while I'm on my back or while I'm on my stomach, just laying out in the sun as naked as possible as I can get, right? And I see the same thing for you, Virgo. I feel that you are being called to get back in the boat, to set sail, and to set your sights on the next great adventure. Some of you guys are a little anxious about that. With the Ace, Eight of Swords here, you guys are questioning what is out there. I feel like there's this feeling of, I don't wanna lose. Okay, what I just heard is, I don't wanna lose more. This means that you've come a long way and you feel like you have a lot to lose. It could be investments. If you hear any snoring, it's my dog at my feet. Um, it could be investments, it could be your progress, it could be your heart, the, the, the desires of your heart. There are things that you just don't want to lose anymore. You don't want to set yourself up for loss and you know that it is dangerous to start over fresh. It is dangerous to put yourself out there again, but you are still called to go out there regardless. Um, with the Seven of Pentacles here, my loves, this is that taking assessment, taking a really strong assessment of what you are carrying, what you're bringing with you, and then what you do decide to, to, to take with you, cleanse it, let this cleansing be cathartic, let it be healing, let it be fresh, let it be vibrant. These are not just essentials, things that, is that you're gonna need, it's also gonna be comforting things. Because Virgo, there's a part of you that really needs to uh, disrobe yourself from situations, people, things, circumstances that would just ultimately kind of drain you of your resources, drain you of your energy, drain you of your joy. At the root of your reading, you have the Queen of Pentacles. And this is a woman who has a lot not only going for her, but a lot that she's created, a lot that she has attained, a lot that she is maintaining. I'm saying she, but it could be, it's just energy at the end of the day. You have the Ten of Pentacles here too, my loves. So clearly there's some level, yeah, Five of Swords Magician card here. So with this card, the Magician card and the Five of Swords, I just feel that some of you guys are, again, there's this feeling of, I don't want to face loss anymore. I don't want to face, um, not an obstacle, but I don't want to face disappointment. I don't want to face failure. I don't want to face pain. I don't want to face suffering. And Spirit is saying that that mindset is actually going to create for you and manifest the very thing that it is that you are afraid of. Because you're saying that you don't want to experience loss. You're, you're afraid to go back. You realize that you have to go back out there, but 
and you're afraid to go back out there. But if you stayed on the shore, if you stayed put, you're not going to be happy there. And there is a loss already by you just staying in that space. So it's time for you to have faith again, to try again, to assess again, to put yourself out there again. I can't help but notice, my loves, that all of your reading is either swords or pentacles. A sword is so strong. It's so symbolic. I even have it tattooed on my arm. A sword has is, is a weapon. It's something that we can use to protect ourselves. There's two blades here. It can represent the truth. It's what we use to sever ties. It's what we use to stab and to protect. It's what we use to speak the truth or to understand the truth. The truth literally will set you free and sometimes it does hurt. But this will literally sever the ties, remove the ties of things that have been holding you back, keeping you ground like um, too anchored. I feel that spirit, the only card that is not just swords or pentacles here is the magician card. And the magician card actually has the cups, the wands, the pentacles, the swords. It's all of the elements and spirit combined. And this is actually all that you'll need, Virgo, in order to manifest once again. And as I'm saying that, I felt really called to look back at the deck again. And you have the Empress card here at the base. So what I want you to hear, receive, and understand, Virgo, is that you do not have to think about focusing on loss anymore. You don't have to think about focusing on fear. You don't have to think about focusing on lack. You don't have to think about focusing on dysfunction or disappointment or anxiety. Because the truth is, is that you actually are moving into far better, fresher, vibrant waters. And it's the past circumstances that you have built for yourself. I mean, you have advanced very, very far. The word that's coming through with is advanced. You have advanced very far in your journey. I mean, all of these numbers, 7, 8, 6, 10, 8, five like and the six and the five are pretty much just showing me not your level but it's just like your hesitation but these cards are saying you've you really have advanced very far in your knowledge in your growth in your journey that you are so close to the promised land you're so close three of wands you know it's on the horizon ten of wands it's just getting there and the judgment card, it's knowing that it's there, but just ignoring the call that is saying, come, 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 you are so close. The only thing that's stopping you is your own fear saying, I don't want to feel pain again. I don't want to suffer. I don't want to start over. I don't want to, and it's like, but Virgo, don't you understand that it's gonna be more painful staying where you're at or staying, put versus you going out there and having a venture again and having having a fresh start having a new beginning with this ten of wands and with the the three of wands I actually feel that someone is going to meet you more than halfway or something is going to meet you more than halfway on your journey that's going to make it a lot easier for you to carry the high priestess and I also feel that it's going to be a deeper connection with spirit. And I think ultimately that's really what it is that you want is this sense of connection and intimacy with spirit so that you're never second guessing yourself. One last message for, for Virgos, sun, moon, and rising. Yep. Four of Pentacles. It's so interesting because it's like you want to stay put, but as you're moving forward, Virgo, you remember, you get to assess what you are going to take with you. 
This could be friends. This could be comfort blankets. This could be your bank account. This could be your relationship. This could be a lifestyle, a habit. These are things that you have some really valuable. Remember, because we're Spirit was talking about counting the change in your coin purse. These are some really valuable bits of, and pieces that you've picked up along the way that started at the very beginning of your journey when you were faith planning, when you took that step of faith. Think about how you have secured for yourself these really valuable people, things, circumstances, bits of wisdom, truth, experiences that couldn't have happened otherwise. And realize that you are not actually walking away from a safety, a space of safety. You're actually carrying those things still with you. They are still secured within your pocket. They're still secured within your belongings. They're still secured within your heart. And nothing is going to take those away from you. Even as you're moving from one new area to the next area, you still have a lot of comfort around you still now to this day. That should make it a little easier for you as you are entering into this next cycle, this next stage within your life. Now, let's see what the Sacred Forest Oracle card has for you, what messages they have from you. And this book is from, or these cards are from Denise Lynn. What messages do you want Virgo to receive? Wow. Oh. Two more, I feel, for Virgo. Wow. Yep. All right, Virgo. You're going to love this. Oh my gosh, you're going to love this. So the first card, Virgo, for you is Hummingbird Spirit. And this card rules joy and is also ruled by 22, the number 22, which is the master number. This is literally Spirit's promise over your life. You are meant to have a very joyful, loving, peaceful, vibrant, beautifully lit up life where there are no strings attached. I don't know why spirit is telling me to tell you that there are no strings attached to your joy, to your blessing, to your abundance. So don't expect it to just, if something good happens that you're going to have to do something or owe anything. No, it's just innate. It's just inherently yours, right? Um, and it's yours to receive now. Are you open to receiving it? Are you open to experiencing it? This is also reminding me, Virgo, of the Nectar of Life candle or the Bird of Paradise candle, fixed candle that is that I have within my apothecary that just opens up those energy channels for you to be able to receive joy, blessing, and abundance, and you don't have to work so hard for it. It just finds you, just like a hummingbird finds the flower, like a hummingbird finds the nectar and enjoys it. The other thing that I want to talk to you about is how fast the hummingbird's heart beats. Um, birds or animals that have really fast beating hearts, their anxiety, their tension with this eight of swords here, it shortens their lifespan because the stress is too much for the body. So you having said that Virgo, you're not meant to live a life that is so high stress, that is so stressful because it literally shortens your lifespan. It literally shortens your health. It weakens your health. It weakens your immune system. So having said that, realize that when spirit sees that a situation is getting too stressful and anxious inducing, it will find everything that it can or do everything that it can to move you out, out of that for your own health, for your own well-being, for your own longevity. The next card that you have is the card fire spirit, and this is connected to energy. You are actively rebuilding your energy. You're rebuilding your vibrancy. And I'm really getting a strong sense that for, for, for whatever reason, this is from what you are so solidifying yourself in and also your belongings. 
I'm seeing a lot of crystals around you. I'm seeing a lot of flowers. I'm seeing a lot of earth. I'm seeing a lot of trees. So grounding yourself in that is going to help you to rebuild your energy and also clearly spending time with fire. The next thing that we have, the next cards that we have for you guys, you're not going to believe this, but we have the truth, the card of truth, which I was talking about with these swords here. We have mystic meadow, which is sanctuary, telling you that you are safe, telling that you're provided for, especially with the four of pentacles here, especially with six of swords and eight of cups. You guys feel like you're moving away from sanctuary when in reality, you're moving deeper into it. Okay. And then also we have transmutation. So out of the fires of what you are relinquishing, of what is being transformed within your life, you are being reborn anew, powerful, strong, and more importantly, this is always who you've been, but you have a better sense of it. You have a better sense of your power, of, of who you are, of your identity, of what you deserve. And I just feel like you're just not going to accept less than that anymore. It's it's intuitive now. Like it's an energy. It's a vibe. So this is such a powerful message, Virgo. Please look out for, you, for yourself. Do not allow yourself to stay in places that are harsh or cold or abrasive. For, like they're just not, it's just not for you. You don't deserve that. You don't even want that. And it's not good for you to try and sit in that space and try to make it work or try to anchor yourself within it because it just will deplete your energy at the end of the day. It's sometimes it's better just to take what is awesome, take what is yours and keep it moving, honey, because what is for you will not pass you and there are blessings ahead of you. So plan once again with your faith. Once again, if you could do it before, you can do it again. I promise you, I promise you. Virgo, if you need any help with manifesting your highest hopes, wishes, and desires, please visit me at within the apothecary, bahadilife.com or bahadilife.com slash shop. I will link it down below in the comments and in the description box to make it easier for you to find me. You'll find fixed candles, intention oils, herbs, all of those things that is that you could possibly need in order to manifest all of your hopes, wishes, and desires. In the meantime, I do want to invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And of course, I'll see you in my next one. Bye. You were created to live a life of magic, abundance, love, and blessing, all of which will be up to you to call into your life with perfect divine timing. The Hottie Life Apothecary is the magical home of Jessica Alexandria, where you will find a wide variety of mystical items to help you to manifest your heart's truest desires, as well as tools to help you tap into your unlimited spiritual potential. Browse the online apothecary and find hand-fixed candles to magnetize your intentions towards you. You'll find thyme and star-soaked conjure oils charged to anoint your petitions, your body, and personal magical items. You'll also find the highest quality of herbs for creating your own potions and concoctions, and even reserve time and space with Jessica Alexandria herself, who will work with you to create something special and truly yours. Each item found within the apothecary are created with intention in alignment with the movement of the stars to make them even more powerful totems to bring into your own sacred space. Visit BahadiLife.com to browse the apothecary and don't forget to follow Jessica on Instagram at BahadiLife where she posts daily messages to uplift, inspire, empower, and to remind you of your magical potential along your magical journey. Blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you there.